Here are some of the most amazing AI news. Hello, my friends, how are you doing? Let's get started here with the first one by Nate Raw about morphing between text prompts. So in this example, you can see that we have strawberry spaghettis and they are morphing into blueberry spaghettis. Now, if this doesn't make too much sense, here is another example with doc images where they are morphing in between. And of course, you can already feel, you can think about the artistic applications. I have also linked the post on GitHub by Nate Raw, so you can check all of that out if you want to. But if you want to try this yourself, I also have linked this page here. You get two examples for free and after them they want to see some money. But you can see here for example an interesting artistic application where this is morphing between different of these monolith scenes so that can be cool. And I've also created one that you can see right now where it's morphing between a uh, old village to a modern city. So you can really make artistic expressive works with this. The next one is by Google Research and is about flying into a 2D image. Now the amazing thing here is that the AI invents the elements and the changing perspective while flying into the space but also keeps a continuity in progression between these different steps so that they fit together and make sense as a flying animation which is really cool and this is also what is needed in this case here because when you think about this and you have continuity and you have a relation between the different image elements, you can make a real animation that flows with purpose and sense into each other. So this together has huge potential to create artistic projects. The next one I want to show you is by Chini Kogan. Absolutely genius project. It's about in painting. You can see here prompts being created in these rectangle shapes, but then other rectangle shapes are drawn over that with new prompts and they understand what is in the rectangles below them. So they extend the picture to the side and you can step by step create a huge canvas with all these details and also repeat place parts over time. You can see here he's erasing parts of the image and then recreating them with new content that is fitting what is already in the image. The next one is about running Stable Diffusion on M1 Max. I've seen people having problems with that. So here's a post that should help you make that happen. Check the link out. The next one is by Jasper Whisperer and this is about creating prompts where the images should not be cut off, this kind of AI decapitation. So how to avoid that? He's explaining here the prompts and the idea behind that to get better results from your images with these different suggestions. Check that link out. This is a massive collection of links and projects for AI image generation, but also for super resolution, for upscaling, for videos and audios with the help of AI and other projects. So absolutely check out this massive list here. So many projects on here. Write in the comments if you want me to make videos about some of these projects in here. The next thing you should check out is Google Collab because a lot of the projects I've shown you here work on Google Collab. So it's important to get to understand what that is and also about this payment model because you can use it for a certain time for free. After that you have to pay right now. I'm at the $9.99 plan. This gives you more GPU time and for me that is sufficient and you get a lot from that. You can use stable diffusion, you can upscale your images, fix the faces, all these cool things that you see here. A lot of them are on Google Collab. One of these Google Collab projects I absolutely want to suggest to you is Real ESR GAN because this is for upscaling. It works pretty well. It's rather fast and you get beautiful results from that. So check that out. Personally though, I'm using Gigapixel AI, which is a software you have to buy, but it is lightning fast. It has very nice AI models and it is super quick. Let me know in the comments if you want to see a video where I compare these two AIs and also show you the 
different modes of Gigapixel AI. Then there is also Replicate.com where you can use GFP again to upscale your images. You get one or two free trials and then afterwards you have to pay for each image. So that might not be too ideal, but is very simple to use. You simply upload your image, you select the version and the scale you want to have, click on submit and that is basically it. That's it for today. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Bye.